happening in a tent close to uh, Wiri Matikizela Road. Um, you know, there was a bit of commotion between two political parties, uh, which was the ANC and the EFF in this regard. Uh, you might have heard some EFF members saying that the EFF has now, rather the ANC has now hijacked this, um, you know, this unveiling, saying that this is a motion that was proposed by them in the year 2018, and now they felt like they were not being granted, you know, the necessary, um, you know, um, well, actually, they're supposed to be mentioned when the mayor was uh, officially unveiling, handing over plates to the Mandela family, as you might have seen earlier on. And we are joined by uh, the MMC um, from the EFF, uh, Mr. Mkini Chwaku. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, there was a bit of commotion inside there between the African National Congress and the EFF, with some EFF members saying that the EFM, um, the ANC rather, has actually hijacked an idea, or rather a motion that was prevented, uh, presented by the, the EFF in 2018. Look, the, we are here to reaffirm and support the changing of the name from William Nicole to Winnie Mandela. Uh, you know, and also to really be happy that the motion that was amended by the EFF in terms of uh, naming this street William Nicole, uh, you know, to, like, after Umam. As you know, that uh, it has been the EFF that has been elevating her name. For example, even the, the headquarters of the EFF. Uh, you know, it's Winnie Mandela, and also even the, the, the CIC has tabled a motion in Parliament to rename Cape Town to Winnie Mandela, Mandela Cape Town. Okay. So it has always been the, the EFF every single time, you know. Uh, you, as you know, that the, 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 the ruling party and the Stratcom and the, and the apartheid spies have been wanting to taint her name every single time. But she stayed, she, she stayed still to her revolutionary ideals of wanting land and wealth for this country. And she never saw that up until the end. Now it is, it is it's very, you know, surprising for us. You find that they want to, you know, claim all these things and all of that, you know. So uh, we're just becoming, you know, we are just laughing at everything. But the idea actually came by the EFF. And then I think that the party leader cannot attest to that because he, he, he was actually there as well. Now, some representatives of the ANC, of the EFF rather, are saying that uh, the ANC rejected Umamuini Matikizela Mandela. What does that mean? Oh, who, no, the, 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 the ANC rejected the motion in Parliament to change the name of Cape Town International Airport to Winnie Matikizela Mandela to, to really show that they're actually being hypocritical. They have never supported her. Yeah, well, they wanted to tend her name even when she was here. I mean, she was, you know, she was a, you know, they, they actually tended her name, you know, call her all sorts of names. But it was the EFF every single time we elevated her name. And we're going to do that. And we're going to ensure that that, uh, you know, the, the, the Cape Town International Airport is renamed after her. Now, MMC Kenny Gunene mentioned that you'll be changing more of these names that remind you of the oppressors. What, what roads are we possibly looking at? Yeah, no, there are many of them. Uh, party leader, Hendrik Verwood, you know, Louis Porter, uh, you know, because he's correct. Because every time when you go around, we get to know, so to, to traumatize, because those people killed our own people, you know. And that's why even the EFF is saying that in the, when you're singing the national anthem, we must do away with the English part and African part that is them because it reminds us of our past. So all these roads, Hendrik Fairwood, the architecture of apartheid, every time we drive, must we actually, it, it, it gets to remind us of, of him. So that's why we support the move that let's change all the names. And then we must start, we're going to table the motion. And the party leader is here as well. And the way put it out is, and there's going to be lots of motions which are going to be coming in. Change all the roads. There must be no bit retief. Louis Porter, Hendrik of Wood, uh, on DACA and everything. It must be changed and remind, and remind ourselves of our revolutionary leaders who actually emancipated us as well. Party leader, possibly take us through the roads that you're considering changing uh, as a party. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, I think we, we can't discuss the motion because ANC knows very well, DA knows very well that we are the only political formation which sticks with MAMA. And us as the EFF, we are inspired because uh, when we grew up, the only struggling hero we knew was Mama because she was still in the country. She was the only one in the country. We couldn't hear about those who flew the country, those yeah. men who, who jumped the borders and go to other countries. We only heard about Mama Win until early, early 90s. We started hearing about these other ones that, hey, they are back. Hey, they went outside to fight for us, but Mama Win stood with us. 
the motion. I've got amendments here. They are still in black and white, the amendments. It was in 2018, it was September. That's when we amended the, the motion to, to rename this uh, street Kamamawini. Uh, it was not only this street, even Orlando Stadium, the motion was passed. Same day, same amendments, the motion was passed. Even Orlando Stadium, we are still going to rename it uh, Mamawini Matigizela. That's how we honor the, 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 the old woman. She, 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 she's that special like that. Thank you very much, sir. Now, Dudu uh, William Nicole has been buried. We